I actually cannot believe this has happened. The guy who cuts the grass has just been around and he's cut through the internet cable. We have no internet. Genuinely don't know what we're gonna do. Oh my word, I try and make it a rule not to do two negative down vlogs in a row and yesterday was quite negative and down, but today is disaster after disaster. The skybox, first thing first this morning, tried to fix the skybox after it wasn't working yesterday and all I've managed to do following the instructions online is break it completely so it doesn't turn on. So we've managed to get a sky engineer out this morning, they're going to be with us by one o'clock to try and fix that. The only problem is to fix that they need the internet. But your internet's all fixed and sorted Kev I hear you say. Yes you would be right the internet was fixed and sorted until the gardener came around this morning, not a gardener we've hired by the way, the gardener who just does cuts the grass in the front gardens on the estate and inexplicably and I cannot believe this has happened absolutely inexplicably they've cut through our fiber cable with their strimmer that's our open reach box that gives our fiber into the house they've cut through the cable so we have no internet the cable's been cut through I can't believe it I have um, immediately tried to use and abuse my position as a social media influencer, got on internet, showed a video of what had happened, tagged in BT, tagged in Openreach, and to their credit, they've both been fantastic. I've had them both on the phone this morning. At the worst case scenario, we've got an engineer coming out between eight and one tomorrow to fix it. But obviously coming out tomorrow doesn't really help because Andy will be home from school at 2.30 and if there's no TV and no internet, he is not gonna be able to cope stuff is getting smashed it will be bad but we've then had openreach get in touch they've got an engineer who's round the corner now who they're going to try and divert here afterwards and come along and get it fixed so fingers crossed if it is as quick and easy a fix as i hope it is because i hope all the guy has turned is cut through the wire and it just needs reconnecting and it's long enough there's enough slack in it obviously if stuff has been mangled as well if they need to feed through a new cable if they need to fix something in the box there might be more to it but fingers crossed there is an engineer on the way they said to me it's 12 o'clock now they said to me they'll hopefully have someone here within an hour and a half so fingers crossed by 1 30 we'll have someone here to fix it and it's a quick fix because then we have to leave to pick Andy up at two the sky guy is going to be here by one and I hope he can at the very least fix the box even though we won't have any internet to connect it to. It might be that Sky has to be delayed until tomorrow if he comes before the internet is fixed and he needs the internet to fix it. Either way, this is incredibly stressful. We do not need this. How on earth do you cut through an internet cable? We didn't even know he'd done it. The guy's gone. We don't hire him. He's not, any, we don't know who he is. We don't know how to contact them. I don't know how to stop it happening again. Yeah, Anna's looking for a box to put it in. Poor old Anna is stressed out of her mind. Oh, we don't, it's one thing after the other. What have we done? Who have we wronged to have the universe treat us this way just lately? <sighs> Fingers crossed, the next clip you see will be one or ideally both of these problems sorted before Andy is here. Oh my word, it's only quarter past one and everything is fixed. The Sky Guy arrived first. Um, he's swapped both of our Sky Boxes over for new ones. Um, that's they still wouldn't connect to the new router that we've got. So we've now run a cable that goes all the way from the back of the Sky Box and it's hardwired into the back of that router. So that now works properly. What that also means is I can then get another switch, put a switch in down there and now hardwire Anna's computer, her PlayStation, and this can all be wired straight into the router. So that is gonna be awesome. Apparently 
the Skybox and the Mini Skybox then talk to each other on their own Wi-Fi network. He set that one up too, they both work. Sky is now working and while he was here, the Openreach guys turned up as well. They've asked for a shout out. So Paul and Lawrence from Openreach, thank you very much. They were here within two hours of me originally reaching out on social media. Um, they've come out, I'll show you what they've done outside. Um, the culprit, in addition to being the gardener, this wire, this is the wire that was cut. All those problems caused by that one little wire. Um, so we air conditioning boxes there. But this is, um, this is what they've done. Just down here, you can see how that cable is now connected back up properly and they've hidden it behind this thing. So it's much less likely to be cut through again, hopefully. Um, They've suggested we get a plant pot or something to put over it just to make sure it doesn't get cut through again. But that is now working. We're back up to our full internet speed. It's only quarter past one. And not only have we fixed the problem that was generated at 10 o'clock this morning with the internet, but we also have working Sky TV. And this is the first time since we've lived here that we've had fully working internet, Wi-Fi at high speed everywhere in the house and TV that just works on both TVs. We have a spare Sky Q box as well, which we can set up in Andy's room when he gets a new TV. Now we know it works, we're safe to set that up in his room. So, thumbs ups to everyone involved. Massive, I know I sometimes give companies a hard time on social media, but really do need to say a huge thank you to Sky because they, I mean, I phoned Sky at half past nine, 10 o'clock this morning. They originally offered me a slot for between one and five today. And I said, well, I can't do between one and five because we have to pick Andy up between two and 2.30. That's going to be the case every day. So they offered me eight till one tomorrow. And I said, well, I can't do that because I have to take him to school at nine o'clock every morning. So they said, well, how about we put you on the eight till one slot for today? There'll be someone with you by one o'clock today. So he was finished he left the house within three hours of that phone call and he'd fixed it all um, but also massive shout outs to both openreach and bt who are separate companies they've both been on the phone to me this morning um constantly trying to get this rushed along and sorted the openreach guys who came out and um, they were in the same town that we're in they've just come over when they finished their previous job got it fixed in no time but to have uh, to have three companies sky openreach and bt all go out of their way to help us out and get things sorted because they didn't want andy to have to come home to broken stuff is fantastic the sky guy he mentioned his daughter is autistic um the guy who i spoke to on the phone at openreach he said he had an autistic grandchild so it was definitely the, they understood how difficult it would be for Andy to come home and for stuff not to be working and they wanted to get it sorted and they did get it sorted and now we've got 40 minutes before we have to go and pick him up from school. I've done no work yet today, as you can imagine, so my stream for later is cancelled because I'm going to have to do today's work tonight but I need to go and have some lunch because I'm absolutely starving and I can just feel the stress leaving my body Anna's napping because the adrenaline and the stress is seeping out of her body we genuinely didn't know what we were going to do we were thinking in terms of maybe going to stay in a hotel tonight distracting him on the way home. I don't know what we'd have done but thankfully we don't have to worry about it because it all works thank you Sky thank you BT thank you Openreach you're all heroes slight change of plan we haven't eaten we are out at B&M to grab something to cover the internet wire up with, just to make sure that nonsense can never, ever happen again. Plant pot purchased successfully, Anna. Would you like to show your plant pot? One plant pot. And because we went to B&M, we also bought a load of other stuff as well. We've got a big old bag, including... Food, Kevin. Is it stress food? Um, we got... You know how we got the Big Mac and chicken nuggets from Aldi last week? We haven't eaten them yet, they're still in the freezer. Well, I thought they were only at Aldi, but it turns out they're not, because from B&M, we got the breakfast muffin. We'll do a taste test on them soon. I need a day where we've both got enough Weight Watchers points, and then we'll do a taste test, yeah. And there we have our solution to all future problems the cable protector. <laughs> so that's its name. Yeah, it's the cable protector. All problems now solved. I'm so stressed out. <laughs>
<laughs> I completely just shut. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't cope with it. It's it fixed just, now. I had like a pressure all here on my head. It was horrible. Right, you take this. I've got to get a parcel from next door. Oh, boys and girls, what a day it is! Ten forty-two in the evening right now. I have just finished recording today's football manager videos. You'll be able to know all the ones that I recorded today based on the fact that I wore this shirt in all of them. I've had to do loads tonight because I'm doing a, a YouTube course tomorrow. So I'm already unavailable all day tomorrow. I've obviously spent all day today faffing around with the internet and with Sky. Luckily, it is all working. It is all still working. Everything's back to the normal speeds it was before. We've got rid of that deco thing that we had in there yesterday. We've just got the ASUS system covering the entire house, moved Andy's devices over to that as well. With the other one not there clashing, everything's running a little bit faster on Wi-Fi too. Um, and everyone seems to be, everyone seems to be happy. I think, we might have finally got the tech side of living in this house sorted. We've got air conditioners in a couple of key rooms, this one in the kitchen to keep it nice and cool. So we're managing the heat in here because it gets unbearable in those two rooms. We've got that managed. We've got working internet. We, uh, we've got working TV. We're getting there, boys and girls. Maybe Anna will stop saying the house is cursed at some point. Fingers crossed. And uh, I need to wrap the video up here so I've now got to get you edited and like four football manager videos edited I think being in bed by midnight is probably a little bit ambitious but I need to try